Those get boring sometimes. <laughs> got other stuff to do. I'm pretty sure they spend most of their life on their phone anyway, so this ain't gonna make it no different, you know. They doing their thing. They just, I mean, they still having fun. You know what I'm saying? They still looking at their phone. Woo! Go ahead. <laughs> they still doing their thing, but you know. I'm gonna throw a disclaimer out there real quick. In case you didn't notice, I'm kind of drunk right now. Uh, I was drunk. More hungover than drunk. But, um, yeah, it's a lot more talking when I'm inebriated. A whole lot more talking and laughing. <laughs> I think a lot of artists have gotten more in tune with the crowd. I feel like people want substance now. People want to be, people want to feel like they're a part of the show. When you got somebody like me that talks a lot, then people, like, in the industry will see that as, you're wasting time. You could be performing, doing another song. People in the crowd see it as, he actually knows we're here. Like, he's not just coming here to get paid. He actually wants to talk to us. If I stumble a little bit or I fall off the stage, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's natural. It's a natural drunk. It's not like I drunk more alcohol than I should have. It's just enough alcohol to get me as drunk as I am. Just making the crowd laugh. I mean, that's always fun. They don't expect to laugh because they know they're not coming to a comedy show. They think I'm just going to be up there singing and they're going to be singing along and people don't expect the things that I say. And that's the way I look at everything that I do. How would I feel if I was in the crowd and I heard this or I saw this and I, you know, went through this? Uh, that's my perspective on all my performances. They just want the art. They want to feel like the artist knows they're there. Yeah. And it's not just like, hey, this is it's what I do every night. This is my job, everybody. Enjoy the show. I'm going to leave and get paid. Ooh. Ooh. Lady, say hi. Say hi. Always go in. There's nothing else to do. Why would you do anything else? You must go in at all times. That's weird, because um, my songs are all dope. That's weird. Um. <laughs> My biggest hit, the biggest song I've had, the longest running song was Flow Riders Low, and that didn't have auto-tune on it at all. People had no idea. They just feel like anytime they hear me, it's gonna be auto-tune. Anytime people read my tweets, they hear it in auto-tune. It's weird. I, uh, we all have certain parts of the crowd. You know what I'm saying? There's a percentage of people that only came to see Bow Wow. There's a percentage of people that only came to see Tiger, or me, or Chris, you know what I'm saying? And, can't fault them people for liking one person, you know, they just, it just so happened that the other people are on the show too. So, I mean, you gotta wait. <laughs> I'm kind of contracted for 40 minutes, yeah, you're gonna have to wait through the whole thing. I can't cut it off because you're ready to see Chris. Yeah, every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> That's right, I am a beast on the stage. Beast in the bed too. <laughs> oh. <laughs>